Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I'm going to demonstrate how to build and run a sample voting application which uses multiple services running in different Docker containers using Docker Compose. Let us start the demo by launching a Docker Quickstack terminal. First, let us get into the folder where we have our application. So here we have a readme, docker compose yml file and the two folders which have the docker file and the relevant applications. So first let us review the docker compose file. Here clearly we could see we are going to use the version 2 format and then we have defined multiple services, voting app, result app, worker, readies and the db. So among this, the first three services, we are going to build the image using the Docker file and the other artifacts available under the corresponding folders. And the readies and the DB, we are going to pull the image from the Docker Hub and use. All these containers are part of either one of the other network, the front tier or the back tier, which we have defined here. So define two networks and one volumes data. So how this application is going to function is the voting app is going to give you a provision for giving your vote and the voting application is going to give that send that information to a readies and then we have a worker app which is running so which is going to pick up the information from the readies and update in a postgres database and the result app it is going to pick up the data from the postgres database and it is going to display the data in real time. Now let us go and review the other configuration. Let us start reviewing the contents of the voting app. So here we have a docker file, a pom.xml file, a server.xml and the source folder where we have our application artifacts. So first let's review the docker file. So here we could see we are going to make use of the virtual liberty kernel as a base image and then we are copying the pom.xml to the slash app slash pom.xml and then we are going to run the maven command to resolve the dependencies and then verify that and then we are going to run the maven package to, uh, to add the source compile and package into a war file and then we are going to copy the war file which has been created by maven under the apps folder of the server then we are going to copy the server.xml then we are going to make use of the install utility to install the features required by the application So now let us review the form.xml. So here we could see we have specified all the dependencies information. Let's review the server.xml. So here we could see we need the features local connector and JSP 2.3. And then it is the HTTP port number is 9080. So which has been mapped to the 5000 in the host. And then we could see the name of the application. So now let us check the source available. So we have an index.xml and the style.css and the voting app.jsp. So now let us review the worker app. So again here we have a docker file and the pom.xml and the source. First let's review the docker file. So here it is going to make use java7 as a base image. Then again it's going to resolve the maven dependencies and verify them and create a package here it is going to create a jar file again the pom.xml has the dependencies and then we have the so where we have the class file the worker java file which is actually going to uh, get the data from the readies and update in the postgres database So now let us review the content of the result tab. So this again has a docker file package.json and the server.js docker file. So it is going to make use of the node 0.10 as a base image and then it is going to do a installation of the required modules and then it is going to start the server.js app. Okay. So now we have reviewed 
the application and the docker files which are available to create those docker images now let us use docker compose and build the required images and start the application compose up and we will run this in the background minus d so we could clearly see it has created all the required containers so let's check the logs So in the logs we could see so it is has created the different containers and they started and the application is the app is running on port 80 and it has connected to the DB and here we could see the application the voting app is running in the port number 9080 the first time when you run the docker compose it is going to take some time because it has to build all the required images and pull the images from the docker hub since already i have run it once i have the images already available in my machine so it has just started the containers now let us access the application in the web browser 192 so here the ip is 101 and then the port number in which it is running is 5000 so let's launch the result app http to again and the ip is 101 and the port number is 100. okay so here we have the voting app so let's vote for cats so you have voted for cats let's check the result so now the cat had 100 percentage voting so let's go back and change it to dogs so here we'll see so now the dogs has the 100 percentage voting as part of this demo you have seen how by specifying the required configuration in docker compose.yml file we were able to build the required docker images and successfully run the application thanks for watching the demo